Asalgo Saidi. What is the meaning if we see noon in the dream? Noon wow noon. Noon wow noon. Noon wal qalam. That alhamdulillah is a, a light. And that Allah inshaAllah to begin to bestow light upon servants. So if you're paying attention to huruf and you begin to see the different hurufs then you begin to study them. But the importance of noor has to do with the noor and that live a life of using your qalam. Means noor wal qalam when Allah testifying to that is that by this qalam and this life of carrying a pen and writing these haqqaiqs you are dressing your kitab with lights, lights that are not from this earth, not from this reality but from heavenly realities. And as a result these lights begin to dress your book and dress your soul and have immense, immense realities and you can read the article on iqra and qalam that the qalam is a, is a pen but the reality of qalam is really qaf, lam, meem which is qul ya Muhammad it's Allah's divinely speech to the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad because in the heavens the qalam of Allah is the reality of Prophet So on this earth when we carry a pen we're asking for the imitation of that reality. From the imitation in which Allah is speaking to Prophet so then you can imagine that the pen is mightier than the sword. Means the men of knowledge have more power than the men of fighting because with their knowledge they can flip the earth upside down. With your sword you can't hit but two people in front of you. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa If we don't have questions what do we email about to keep the communication? Just how are you? I'm doing good. Please pray for me Sayyidi. That's it. Just keep your communication going. Imagine that it's a virtual zawiyah. So when the shaykh is sitting in his zawiyah, if they come in and just talk to each other in groups, you're going to lose your connection with the shaykh. Because the shaykh is going to say, who's that guy always in the back? He never comes to say hello, never comes forward to greet the shaykh. It's not like that. So zawiyah is always about that we come in, first thing we're going to do is not greet each other, I'm going to go greet the shaykh. If I have a gift to gift him, I'll give him a gift, I'll ask him, please pray for me, please I need this opening to happen in my… Everybody has something, everybody has either work, they have their life, they have their children or they want a protection for their life and every day when they see the shaykh they come and Allah says, come, don't come empty handed. Means come with a, a gift, something pleasant, something nice, a food, a chocolate something and then ask Sayyidina make du'a for me, my job, make du'a for me, my family, my children. So in the zawiyah they're required in the adab of the zawiyah not to talk to each other, only concentrate on the shaykh. Build the relationship with the shaykh. So the virtual zawiyah is no different. That give a gift, introduce yourself and ask for, for du'a. If you have no difficulties, mashaAllah, alhamdulillah, then you just say, please pray for me and my family, inshaAllah you're good Sayyidi and you keep building the relationship because I said in these platforms the shaykh is seen. He sees the names that are coming through the emails, then he sees the names on the YouTube comments. Then he sees the name through the shop or they're getting taweezes, they don't they're, they're understand, how could they not get taweez and then they're calling for problems every day. So then he sees the same names, they got their taweezes, they, oh he sees oh they shared this on Facebook, they shared the book on Facebook, they shared the article on Facebook. So their, their social activity is being monitored. Before China understood monitoring somebody's social profile that was already from Allah Right? So China now you have to have a social profile to even get on a plane. You have to be a good person, you have to be non-political. So they have a social index now on this dunya. 
But Allah had that before that you had to have a social index, you had to have an active character, you had to have a, a proactive life of, of being active with Prophet And that was the way of the companions, they were active, they were aggressive in giving their salams, their love. There's hadith of a sahabi that would keep coming around Prophet and saying, Salaamu Alaikum. And then he would walk around and come back as Salaamu Alaikum, Ya Sidi Ya Rasulullah. And to one of the companions say, why do you say so much? He says, because I want the Walaykum Salaam to be dressing me. Maybe he was seeing the reality that when the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad is saying Walaykum Salaam, maybe he's being dressed by its infinite blessings. They didn't stay and hide and pretend like they didn't know who Prophet was. They were living and dying in that reality. That doesn't change for the tariqahs, that to have a social profile, have a, an, an active uh, connection, an active love and participation for the tariqah and its activities inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum Dear Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa How can we always stay in the state of hudur and fana while dealing with people in daily life? Hudur and fana and, and daily life is, is difficult because you're not supposed to keep that presence at all times like that. That we keep it for the meditative state and, and enter into that state and we learn to turn off. Means that if you're on continuous then you're not approachable. So if the shaykhs wanted to stay in a presence of being continuously on, nobody could approach them, their character would be very difficult. So when they're on, they're on. When they're off, they're like normal people off. But doesn't mean they become heedless. In their heart they're doing their zikr, in their heart they're keeping the love for Sayyidina Muhammad But that's different than when you're training and trying to make your connection. Those require special time so you don't do that on the bus, you, you don't do that when you're arguing with people at work. So it just it's a, it's a lesser degree that you keep your connection and you do your work, you keep your good character, you do your work <coughs> inshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Ya Sayyidi <coughs> Wa Alaikum As Salaam wa uh, Sayyidi can you please let us know some more about the three wise men who visited Isa alayhi salam and their relation with the tariqah? Hmm. <laughs> InshaAllah, it's not necessarily that they had a relationship with the tariqah, it's more of a ishara that Allah gives that for people the truth is in plain sight I think. They have eyes but they don't see. So in their places of worship they put the symbol of three men in turbans on the grass. They tell a story that these are kings who came with money, gold, oil and fragrances to fragrant support and give their homage and their love for the coming of a king from heavens and to warn that the king that's coming these people are going to try to kill him. So take this money, take these things that we have given to you and make way. Well, them inspires them, put those things in front of your house of worship. If they had eyes to see and a heart to contemplate, they should ask, who are these wise men? Not us because that's not our place of worship. But Allah sends everyone a sign. So same in the coming of the last days. That who will be awaiting the arrival of one of the kings of heaven to return? There'll be men with turbans and beards 
whom they live their life preparing for his arrival to give their lives as their support in his dominion and the establishment of his kingdom upon earth. And now to teach you his holy lineage that his mother was chosen above all women for Sayyidina Muhammad She's under the 19th surah of Holy Qur'an and those whom study the numbers understand that 19 represents the 19 letters of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem which represents Ahlul Bayt which represents Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussain. So Allah puts Surat Al-Maryam with the 19th surah so that you understand he is from that family and she's been given a gift from her Lord. So who's the one in charge of giving gifts? <laughs> Sayyidina Muhammad So she has a Ra within her Mim, Maryam. So she has a gift from her Lord within her belly. So then who are the people with turbans and beards waiting for Sayyidina Isa That's what's important. There's these people because they come across us and they say, why do you people look like this? I said, did you think that Sayyidina Isa was coming with coat and tie or that he would be at a tailgate party having beer, pork and uh, ribs or he's going to be looking like me? Because Allah is asking, you have eyes but you don't see. Don't you put him on your grass every season? There's three of us on the grass of all their houses of worship. Hello, hello. <laughs> As a sign from Allah. That's what's important is to have eyes and to see and to understand so that people would go back and ask. So Allah doesn't make this life complicated. The signs are in front of people. But they don't see it because Dajjal and shaitan has blocked people's eyes from understanding, inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, Can you please tell us which of the seven wazirs of Sayyidina Mahdi salam represent which of the seven essences of the holy face? The holy face, ooh that's a big one. That's a, once you got to the holy face you don't need to ask me those kind of questions, they'll, the face will tell you itself. <laughs> yeah. But it's important to recite their name, Shammat al-Fardani, Abdul Rauf Yamani, Yusuf al-Siddiq, Imam al-Arifin, Lisan al-Mutaqalimeen, Arif Tayyad, Maruf bin Mulhan, Burhan al-Karamna, Ghawth al-Anam and their leader Sayyidina Muhammad al-Mahdi So calling upon their names and asking to be dressed by their fires, dressed by their nazar inshaAllah is important, inshaAllah. Mm. Uh, as Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa uh, What is the reality of seeing the infinity sign when we're doing meditation? No idea, what's the infinity sign? Is it the fish, the, the eight sideways? Yeah. Remember the meditation you have to keep under your control. So there are people who come and say, I saw an onion, I saw a hand with two cherries, I saw a red shoe. That just means that you've got to gain control of your mental capacity. That's why they give the coordinates. In the meditation you close your eyes, visualize the shaykh. That's all you should be focusing on. The shaykh is in front of you and dressing you from lahmat. If you're not able to do that you have to keep doing that because it's not easy. But the shaykh is in front of you, I don't need to see him with my head up, just my head down and I visualize my shaykh is in front of me. And then ask him, Sayyidi, dress me from your light and put your light into my heart and I'm nothing. I don't deserve to see you, I'm not looking for your face but I know with all my faith that you're just sitting on your knees right in front of me. 
and you should only be occupied with that. If an onion comes before you then that's a distraction for you. If two grapes come in front of you that's a distraction for you. If everything heavenly comes in front of you it's a distraction for you. So Imam Ali described that, I, I learned my fana in my fana and I learned how to annihilate in my annihilation. Means that at every moment asking to be nothing and nothing and continue making the connection. Because everything comes as a distraction, do you want this, do you want the sword, do you want a robe, you want something from heaven? And if your nafs enters into your meditation and begins to say, yeah this is what I want means it took you away from making a connection and now just hallucinating and then it becomes hallucinations. But you negate it and say, thank you I'm not in need of that I need just to make my connection. Later when you've studied on how to make your connection then you begin to tell yourself with your shaykh that, I don't want there to be two, I don't want to be in existence that I'm nothing. Now when I'm nothing that you dress me from your dress and I'm nothing. And you begin to feel the dress of the shaykh on top of you and as much as you see a layer of the shaykh on top of you as much as you are still there until you train yourself to be nothing, nothing until you look and your you know op 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 opaque, opacity, opacity, how do you do it on the computer? Opacity? Yeah, you know the games on the computer to put opacity? You could put it very thick, the circle appears right there. Then your opacity has to be reduced until you become transparent so that when you're looking the shaykh is solidly there and you don't see yourself anymore. Means now why? Because the shaykh has the power and the shaykh has the power because he represents his shaykh, his shaykh, his shaykh, his shaykh all the way up. When the opacity of myself is gone and the shaykh's present is there means now I have hearing from his hearing, I have seeing from his seeing, I have speaking from his speaking because I got rid of myself. But so this is a process, it's not just, oh I just made the connection and then I'm finished now I can go looking for different things. It's I have to make the connection, make the connection and then begin to train myself on how I shouldn't be in existence and that the shaykh's dress is upon me then I see him there but I see myself very solid just a thin layer of him is there until I do it and 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 that is with good character. I cannot do bad things, bad character has to be in the fa'a of the shaykhs because that makes them to leave. As I do that then their presence is strong and my presence is evaporated and gone inshaAllah and we keep, keep, keep doing so that we don't reappear. And that person then has entered into the love with the shaykh, muhabbat, they learn how to enter into the hudur and the presence with the shaykh and as a result of their muhabbat and hudur they are lost in the fana of the shaykh. And then the shaykh would train them again towards the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad inshaAllah. As salaamu Sayyidi Walaykum as salaam wa rahmatullah. Thank you for your guidance. Um, there are some shaykhs on YouTube uh, teaching tariqah through anger and insult versus compassion and understanding. What's the right way to receive our teachings? Yeah, that's because that's not a shaykh. Those are peacocks that put feathers all over themselves. <coughs> the, the understanding of a shaykh is that you have to imagine that they're in the character of Sayyidina Muhammad who taught through immense love and rahmah and mercy. And because of that training they have to be from the people of who? So we have those all in the talks. So the guides to this reality they have to be who men, who men, right? So they have to have hidayat because the hay of who is for hidayat and guidance. 
So when Allah truly want to give guidance because there is no guidance except when Allah grants guidance, then He has to give their five faculties to be opened. So they have hidayat and guidance and as a result Allah grants them the wow for their who and that wow is from the ocean of wudud. So they have to have traversed their levels of their nafs and all the badness of the levels of the nafs onto the last three levels of the nafs are all about the ish and Allah's rida that Allah continuously satisfied with them and dressing and blessing their souls with His Divine love and His Divine grace. So they emanate that Divine love and that Divine teaching. So there are people who can act like a shaykh and there are as many false shaykhs as there are stars in the sky and they may have learned something and say something. But the ocean of hidayat and guidance they are few. InshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa Rahmatullah If due to uh, specific restrictions we are unable to get the book, is there anything we can do in the meantime? The website, the website has all these articles. You can go to the website and then search the articles that you want, print them out. All of these are, are at the same time free upon the website nurmuhammad.com. Actually the books are compra… Are, are compra what is the word? Compiled. Compiled from the website articles. So we put it in a nice fashion so that you would have it in case the website ever went down. But doesn't mean that this knowledge is not accessible or that we charge for knowledge. The website is absolutely free. They only charge because they had to compile the book, put everything together and the cost of production. But the website is entirely free, all the articles are on the website. You type in meditation, you pull it and print it out. There's PDF files, everything. All the books are actually all articles on the website for free for everyone. Just know if you're not going to buy it, just print it out, print it out, print it out, print it out and use your paper, so alhamdulillah. Because each article is like 40 pages. <laughs> By the time you print out the, the 40 articles you're at about 500 pages. InshaAllah. Finito? Sure. Sure. You're struggling to look for the questions. <laughs> uh, As-salamu Sayyidi <laughs> One more and then we're closed up for tonight. Uh, Sayyidi, if someone is looking for a spouse but isn't finding them and it's been several years, what are they doing wrong and what should they do? <laughs> That's a good question and difficult question. Email helped me at <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, no, this, is a, this is a difficult time in life, the world is upside down, people are upside down, everybody's crazy. So it's a bit difficult now for, for, for all people, for, for everyone's children and everyone is in difficulty even just uh, with the spouses they have because of the turmoil within the world and the difficulty and people being employed, unemployed, going in-house, going outside of house, going to COVID, all of these different difficulties. Just be patient, have good character and uh, inshaAllah Allah to, to grant a relief and an opening salawat al-fatiha seven times anybody can recite daily for anything that is blocked asking Prophet to provide an opening and to grant an opening inshaAllah. Wa ma rabbika rabbil izzati wa miyasifoon wa salaam ala mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ila shaykhi nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa nusawi kiram wa la mushaykhina fi tariqatina shpandiyatul aliyya wa sayyidu sadaqiyya fi al-fatiha.